celebration right home. Now Sandy, tell me about these troops you serve. We actually use the term heroes instead of troops because troops can refer to army only and we don't want to leave anyone out if they use that term in that way. And it also refers to those who are less than you in rank and since I've got no rank at all, we just go for heroes because that covers everybody. Do you ever hear back from any of these folks who you send these boxes to? We get hundreds of letters all the time from our heroes. We post them on our hero blog, so if anybody wants to see the impact of all these cards and letters, they can just go and read those notes at any time. Who do they write to when they write these letters home? They write to friends, to family, to other supporters, um, pretty much anybody you'd think that they might write to. I think one of the ones that tugs most at our hearts is when parents write to their children. Uh, we had a mom from Tennessee who actually told us a story about the, the impact of these letters on her kids. She has four kids, two teenage daughters and two toddler sons and they were all staying with grandma while mom was deployed and there was a storm warning of course it's Tennessee so I'm picturing tornado warnings and she bundled all the kids up and put them into the closet underneath the stairwell which was their tornado protection and tucked them all in and they fell asleep while they were waiting for the storm to finish and she peeked in to see how they were doing and she saw the kids all cuddled up with their arms around these boxes, these shoe boxes of cards that they had taken there with them, along with prom dresses. Every girl wants to keep her princess dress safe, so they took their most treasured possessions, their cards, with them so that that would not get lost. What was the most touching note you've ever received? Most touching letter, I think, that inspired my heart was a mom who had three kids, 6, 12, and 16, and the 12 and 16 year old daughters were both blind. <laughs> and the mom would spend all of her time picking out for her blind daughters the most tactile designs and that really inspired me to do more embossing and beautiful embellishing and things that just feel really nice for potentially someone who's blind to enjoy as well. What was the funniest letter you've ever gotten? Oh, the funniest one was probably one of our contacts who got called into his commanding officer's uh, office or quarters and there was his box of Operation Right Home cards was there and he was asked to open it right in front of him. I assume so that first dibs was given to the commanding officer. I don't know if he missed out on the last box or not, but it's really nice to know that it's really important to everybody of every rank. I think my favorite comment out of them all was probably from one of our Army Majors who posted on my Facebook wall, Box arrived, near riot ensued. <laughs> now we have a special message from a hero who's received these cards. So when I was getting ready to deploy, I thought it would be nice to write my, my wife. And so I went and I bought, you know, nice looking stationery. And I thought, well, I'll write her letters. And when we finally got into country and settled down, pulled it out and wrote a couple paragraphs and kind of couldn't think of anything else so I put it back in a drawer and a couple days later I pulled it back out and wrote a couple more paragraphs and put it back in the drawer and it, it took me about two weeks to really get enough pages together to feel like I could send it home to my wife and because of that I was thinking this isn't really going to work because my wife is waiting two weeks to hear from me I realized I could write a paragraph on a card and send it home two three times a week and it really made a difference in my life and it made a difference in my wife's life because she was able to hear from me on a frequent basis. I was still writing the same amount, but it was getting to her at a more frequent basis. Sandy, do you have any last words you'd like to share with our audience? Keep those cards and letters coming. Thanks so much for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. It's been a fun interview.